So I'll tell it two halves. Um, thought we played really, really well in the first half, which obviously the score was indicative of that. Um, try to make sure the guys knew at halftime that you know they're they're an older, uh, really older team uh, with experience, and they weren't just going to go away. And it was just going to be about our mindset. And um, you know, give credit to coach. He made a few adjustments with their lineup. Took a couple guys out and kind of just stuck with five or six guys. Um, and just basically in the second half, they were the tougher team. And um, you could see the experience show. Uh, and, you know, there's only so many more games that, you know, we can use the, the conditioning as an excuse, even though it still is. And it'll be nice to have a few more guys, a couple more guys back um, to help with that based off where we're at right now. Um, but same time, too, you know, you got to find a way to win the game. And, uh not just our players, but myself. Um, you know, it's just part of the process. We don't want to make losing part of the process, but right now where we're at, that's just part of it. And uh, a lot of young guys got a lot of experience. Um, a good, you know, and, and it was a good test. I mean, that from a from a, a you know a player standpoint, it's like a Mountain West game. I mean, the Texas Southerns picked to win the SWAC. Uh, when you look at their bodies, I mean, those are like guys. I mean, those are the guys you're going to see in the Mountain West. I mean, those are bodies of 22, 23 year old grown men. Uh, and you have some guys, you know, my guys in there, some of the young pups that are playing minutes. Um, they're not quite there yet. But um, if we kind of can figure out what happened in the second half, which is what we'll do, we're going to go back, watch the film, and uh, uh, figure out why, you know, why we had the breakdowns we did, which I kind of know that. And, um, you know, offensively, I felt like the first half we were really good. Second half, when we, it's kind of like the Mississippi Valley State game. We get a little bit tired, and, um, you know, we end up, you know, you know, getting a little stagnant offensively. Um, we knew that they were probably going to switch the ball screens, which we did a good, really good job in the first half. But um, it was just one of those deals. We're going to have to go back to the drawing board and keep trying to put the pieces in the right places. But um, I'm still, you know, still proud of their effort and kind of the progress that we've made. And to be honest with you, I think kind of if you have said after the second game, this is kind of where we're at. I mean, I, I think we're, we're trending in the right direction. Davis. Jeff, the second half, they just sort of put their head down and took it to the basket. You guys didn't have a whole lot of answers for that. Just what was going on defensively? That? Yeah, it's uh, and that's what they did, and, and and we knew. I mean, that's what they're best at, and um, you know, it's one of those deals where whether that was one on one or in ball screen coverage, uh, just you know, we got to do a better job of just being tougher on the ball, being tougher behind the ball in terms of when they come off the ball screen. Um, you know, we did a really good job in the sec in the first half of keeping them off the offensive boards. In the second half, I think they had 14 points, second chance points, uh, and that was kind of the the reason why we ended up losing the game. And uh, and so it wasn't. There was some scout mistakes, and we knew that uh, you know Walker was a strong right hand drive guy, and we gave up you know probably three of those. Um, but those are just things that uh, we got to learn from and uh, have a short memory and and move on to Incarnate Word. Michael. Marcus uh, brought up the, the the sort of tired notion as well. Is is that a early season where you've had starts and stops because of COVID, or is that something that you're worried about long term? No, uh, not not long term, but I think as of right now, I mean that's just the reality of the situation. I mean, with the the current state of our roster, um, not having you know we had 12 guys on the roster, um, 11 with Graham, um, you know, being that he can't do anything as of right now, but. Uh, you know, we just, you know, with certain, you know, COVID protocols with pauses, I mean, we just, we haven't been able to go up and down as much as I'd like. I mean, my teams, I mean, in the off season, I mean, we play a lot of five on five. Um, and that's something that needs to be our advantage at, at 7220. But um, right now, based off of kind of the situation of the quarantines and pauses we've had, I mean, it's just, it's just the reality of it. And so we're going to have to play our way in the shape. And uh, it helps when you can hopefully get a couple guys back to where, um, now those guys are getting a little bit more of a blow and fresher guys. And, you know, you also have two guys out that played, you know, significant minutes last year. I mean, guys that have been in games like that, um, guys that can go get baskets in a game like that. And to not have, um, you know, two guys in, in Quan and Kenny, um, you know, there, there's, there's a lot of points that are not on the board because of those guys not playing. Who's next? Cody. Jeff, do you feel like the guys uh, got a little hesitant there in the second half, especially like a Drake Jet, a Drake Jet? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if we got hes, I don't know if we got hesitant. It was the, I mean, I think we got, to be honest, with you, I just think we got a, we got tired, and um, you know, when you and when you shoot threes, when you get tired, you know, you end up shooting short. Um, you know, we were trying to get the ball inside with Maldo, which you know he did a pretty good job of. 
um, and you know to try to make sure we can get some easy baskets. And that's and that's where you miss a Quan Marvel. You know, he also gives you another you know guy that can get to the rim and put pressure on the defense that way. Um, but you know, I, I think it was more from you know being fatigued and then. Um, you know, being in those experiences where, you know, you're up and then the other team gets momentum and momentum's a, momentum's a funny thing. And, and in order to kind of, you know, stop that momentum, you got to kind of come together and you got to figure out a way to get stops on the defensive end, which, you know, when we kind of let them cut it back to like six or seven, then we got a couple stops and then we were able to push it back up. But then down the stretch, um, you know, fouled a three-point shooter, gave up some offensive rebound putbacks, some scouting mistakes, and lo and behold, you, you find a way to lose the game. Tracy. Yeah, you, you had said the other day when we were first talking before this started that this was going to be kind of like an exhibition stretch for you guys because you didn't have time for scrimmages, you didn't have time for any practice games or whatever, or the opportunity. Is this a big learning experience then tonight, that just how serious you guys have to take things? Yeah, no, and I don't think it's, I mean, I, I mean, I think our approach, I mean, we, we, we took a, I mean, as serious approach as possible. I mean, it's just... That's college basketball, and, and when you play a good team with talented players, um, you you got to make sure that uh, you scratch and claw every single possession. And that's what we talk about: is just having the the discipline and effort, you know, in a game that's you know 140, 150 possessions. A team that can play each of those possessions a little bit better, a little bit harder, a little bit more together. The teams that end up winning the game in the second half, they just they were the tougher they were the tougher team and you know I think a lot of that had to do with the conditioning but give them credit for coming out and and really kind of you know as opposed to you know kind of say say they could have easily just quit I mean they've had a tough stretch too I mean they had basically their third game in five or six days um, and so that's where our guys can learn from and they're gonna learn from it but it wasn't from a lack of effort it wasn't from a lack of preparation coach Wicks did a tremendous job of getting these guys ready I mean we knew what they were doing they're not complicated um, it's just a matter of their players went and made plays when it mattered Thank you. We got any more questions, guys? Michael. Yeah, obviously a, a pretty quick turnaround uh, with the Incarnate Word on Wednesday. Is that one of those things where maybe that's for the best to, to be able to, to get back out there? Yeah, what, you know, the best is just the ability to play games. I mean, right now, I mean, with all the games – you know, that are being canceled and you're always crossing your finger, hopefully that, you know, the players, the refs, everybody tests negative. And so just, I mean, just the opportunity to play games. I mean, that's, that's the biggest thing. And that's the only way we're going to get better. I mean, that's, it's the only way of Marcus Williams or Jeremiah Odin, um, you know, Xavier Ducell, those young guys. I mean, that's the only way that, uh, you know, they can find, you know, to get better is to play games. And so the more games that we can play, the better off we're going to be. And, um, you know, beauty of it is that, you know, all those guys are going to be a freshman next year.